like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Welcome back to Detroit, guys. We're here with Hank and his hangover. Connor's taking him to the, uh, well, it's a gentleman's club, okay? The Eden Club. This episode may not be safe for, uh, for Sexiest children. androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, boy. The sexiest androids in town. Welcome to Eden Club. Okay. Are they, like... Connor! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Wait, on, I can't even just look at him without Hank seeing that. I didn't think he'd react to it. Hold on. <laughs> That's funny. They were on display like they were up for purchase or something. All right, Hank. What do you see? It says follow Hank is my directive, but... The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Occupied. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. <laughs> All right, Hank. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting your time. Oh, yeah. Some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. You know, he's kind of a, kind of an asshole, yeah. All right, let's investigate the room, examine the victim, and examine uh, the android as well. Let's start here. Diagnose. Diagnosis in progress. Critically damaged, bio components critically damaged. Interesting. It was definitely hard. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> That's how I diagnose things, man. I got a chemistry set in my head. Come on. <laughs> That's how you have to do it. That's how I've been, I think it was, what, the fourth time Connor's put some sort of strange liquid in his mouth just to analyze what it is. Guy's wallet is there. Would be kind of nice to pick that up and learn more about him, but I guess you could probably just do that with facial recognition anyway. Okay. Lots of booze. Champagne. Alright. Victim. Hank. I can't move, buddy. I need you to move out of my way. There we go. Yeah, victim. Trying to get over there. Alright. Three clues. First clue. He's got severe bruising, signs of strangulation. Or he's just into that. I mean, it could be that. What's his name? This is uh, Michael Graham. Estimated time of death, 6.24 p.m. So about, uh, what, two hours ago? Hour and a half ago? Uh, I'm trying to remember what time it was we arrived. He's got cardiac arrest. No sign of cardiac event. Heart attack, not the cause of death. Okay, interesting. Let's reconstruct. So, let's see. Victim was strangled, which again, maybe he's not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, could have. He literally could have asked for it. <laughs> I don't know in a place like this. Uh, 
Okay, well, we've reconstructed it. Driver's license says... He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. Exactly. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? That. Maybe you can see what happened. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. Like, we should probably be able to see what's going on inside her head, you know? Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? Yes. It's badly damaged. Yes. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. I mean, you guys are really high-tech computers. A minute is a long time. That's really interesting, actually. She's freaking out. Explain. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Yes, facts. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I can't remember. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? There was another android in the room. We at least learned that. That timer skipped, though. As soon as I chose that... There was another android. As soon as I chose that option, it Seven skipped. Over an hour ago, I lost like 40 gone. seconds of time. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Yep. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. Maybe. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for android eyewitnesses. Yeah, that. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, I mean, it's times. not gonna be as easy as the one that the game really pointed out to me, right? Know. Need human fingerprints. That's interesting. Hey, you're right outside the room. Hey, you. Can I have your help? Hank. Hang on. I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna... Just want to take a quick peek here. Looks like I can talk to Hank about that, but... No <laughs> way. He's... This is what people appreciate about Ian Clark. Yeah. Discretion. He's like, I don't suppose you have any trace. cameras around here, do you? Yeah, business is booming, right? Footage I could review. Yeah. You can't complain. <laughs> the thing about androids is they're up for whatever you want. You won't get any diseases and uh, they won't tell anyone. Mm, so why so. not go wild? Yeah. Huh. yeah. Yeah, the more I learn about people. Or I love my dog. Excuse me, Lieutenant. <laughs> love it. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. I need you to open this case, Lieutenant. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Can you trust me? We're warm now, right? Can you rent this, Tracy? <laughs> okay. It's going on the company card. It's not going to look good on my expense. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Delighted to meet you. 
excited to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Get it. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Probing her brain. Locate the suspect. Oh, there. Right there. Blue-haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. No, I just want to see the rest of the video anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's... that's Host feed playback enabled. Interesting. Blue-haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. Okay. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh, shit. Well, let's see. Who would have a good view hey, of that? What am I supposed to do with this one? Tell Probably you your mind. him. Uh, Ask him. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. This one would have a view. Locate the suspect. I'm looking around. There. It turned back into the club. Went back that way. All right, so I'm thinking that one over there, number 12. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. Yeah, it's probably going to be... Uh, actually... If it went back into that room, it, we might be able to have better they luck. Go for it. We might have better luck here. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell? I just need to get one that has vision of her. There. Where did she go? Turned into the red room. Got it. Is there any other ones that would have vision of that? Probably not. I think the red room is probably where we're going. Red room this way. Any other time. Uh, yeah, she's over this way. Who would have vision of this? 27 would? I think 25. Let's get 25. There. She turned into the blue room from there. This place is wild, man. Hey, hey, you want to hurry? Maybe, uh, maybe walk or run a little faster? Kind of, clock's kind of ticking here, okay? So we know she went at least this far. Uh, let's check 21. Or 23. Let's check 21. 21 might have it, because he saw her. Right. Oh. What in the hell? Oh, she's just like drugged up or something. It's not this one. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. <laughs> hey, how about 23? What did you see? There. It hid in a room of that way. Available, it says. Let's go in here. It left the room. Shit. If it left this room... Did you see it leave? It's got to be 21, right? I mean, it's the only other one I can find. Shit. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> I love it. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Would she see it again? I mean, she saw the room, but she didn't see it before. I'm wondering if that guy sees anything. Hey, have you seen anything?
You're cleaning floors. Yeah, right there. Right there. Can you look up? No, he's not looking up. Shit. Wait, there it goes. There. Private. Staff only. It fled through the staff door. Okay, so it's the one right next to it. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. <laughs> Hank feels helpless right now. But Connor's on the trail, buddy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay. Search the warehouse. Find blue-haired deviant. Well, uh, there she's she's wounded. It looks like, or maybe that's just it's kind of everywhere. But she went that way, I think. So shit, we're too late. Not yet, Hank. Calm down. We're gonna analyze this. Yep, right in the mouth. <laughs> Every time. That's how you analyze it. All right. WR 400. Search the trail of blue blood. Blue blood. Uh, I'm looking if there's anything else I can find. Am I still on a time limit right now? I can never tell. I'm going to go over here and see if I can just find anything else. She's not going to be here. That's not where the trail of blue blood is. Salmon. Christ, look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Yeah, that's that's the android life, man. So we're not gonna go out that way yet. Uh, the trail of blue blood doesn't go that way. And there's also something on the ground here. Can I look at that? No. Alright. Uh well the blue blood looks like it's over there, so it's probably in that stack. Or in that group right here. Just want to read this tech addict the first immortals are among us the microscopic machines that could make us live forever vr mmorpg reaches 1 billion users cool the first immortals are among us despite huge advances in medicine many diseases continue to elude the best efforts of doctors and surgeons but that may be about to change CyberLife has developed a nano android capable of entering a patient's body and programmed to combat cancer cells, boost the immune system, and reverse genetic disease. In recent People are clinical, fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. That's what we read in the article. <laughs> in a recent clinical trial, millions of these tiny machines were used to attack cancerous cells. Once the cancer was eradicated, uh, the nano droids were passed through the patient's urine. In the words of Derek Ross, head of the National Life Extension Institute, Life Extension Institute. That's cool. Uh, the first immortals are now among us. Eradicating cancer, brain disease, and organ failure is going to unleash unprecedented levels of life expectancy. But famous economist and author Yuri Makesh uh, is warning of an unintended consequence. We're already, we already have an aging population with a dwindling number of young people supporting a burdensome older class. With unemployment rising, can we really afford millions more elders to support? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have a comment. It's that, yeah, it's that's like the one thing that we know will happen. Come on, Every Connor, we're leaving. No. Yes. Don't leave. I'm coming. The new superpowers, new economies, sign un uh, sorry unified trade agreement. Uh, China earthquake kills. 10,000 people. Bonus culture. Why bankers pay themselves so much? <laughs> really? You gonna tell me that one? Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's like the one thing we know will happen with overpopulation and stuff, so it's, that's, yeah. 
Anyway, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, once termed the BRICS emerging markets, have just agreed a unified trade agreement that will reduce tariffs and boost commerce between the different nations. China is said to have brokered the deal. Zaideng, uh, China's international trade minister, described the agreement as long overdue and another example of how the so-called emerging economies have well and truly emerged. The deal is said to cover a wide range of goods and exchanges from automobiles to foods uh, and currency, with special provisions made for the manufacture of Android-related technology. This has prompted speculation that Russia and China may start to cooperate in an attempt to break CyberLife's lead in that sector. When asked, Zaideng was evasive on the issue. There are many opportunities for treaty members to work more closely together. Watch this space. All right, then. I'm pretty sure the droid I'm looking for, right, is uh, is over there. But there's also something else over here I want to look at. RA9. There it is again. There's an RA9 reference in here again. You know what? Like I want to I want to look out there. I don't think this is us exiting. I'm hoping that's not us exiting. Wait, it's not going to be this one, right? No, she's not. She's not blue-haired. I'm hoping this isn't us exiting. Um, like I just want to look around. It's not that way. I know it's this other group. Pretty sure it's this other group. Yeah, there's also that, which I think is just me leaving with Hank. But um, that's, I am going to go over here because I'm pretty sure she's over here. Blue-haired. I mean, the blue blood is right here. So it's got to be... Where's my cue? Here it is. I see her. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have my hand on the wrong button. Freaking quick time events. Ah! There's more than one. I'm just pressing literally every button right now. It doesn't seem to penalize you for pressing the wrong one. <laughs> just You just have to press the right one. That's all. Ah. Oh, right. That's not the right one. Ah! I freaking hate these quick time events so hard. <laughs> Why am I so bad at them? Angry sex bot. Hank. They're together. They're helping each other as friends. Oh, look at that. Hey, wait, they're not just gonna beat us. Quick, they're getting away! I hit the right button, damn it! Get him, Connor! Oh, shit! Like, you just keep giving me the randomest buttons to press, damn ya! I'm like pressing everything, dude. Like, every button, except spacebar, apparently. like the only thing you can do. Uh I don't want to shoot it. I'm going to spare it. I don't want to I don't want to shoot it. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. 
make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way. That was an unexpected outcome. Whoa, cool. Like, I was actually questioning whether I should shoot him or not, but, um, like, if I shot the deviant, like, they're not gonna, like, escape, right? But, they were open with talking to us, and that that's big. Like, the Deviant's Escape, that's going to have um, cross-chapter uh, impact, right? Uh, win the fight. Well, at least I won. The, the quick time events are really... I don't know why I have such a hard time with them. It's just like, it, maybe it's harder with a keyboard than it is with a controller, but... Like, they'll go A, and then D, and then all of a sudden spacebar. And then, then they'll want me to take my mouse and click the button, but then also I have to move in a certain direction. And I don't know, for some reason I'm having a hard time with those. 67% um, complete on this, and it looks to me like we went with the aggressive approach when we talked to the android. wonder what other approach there is. But, uh, yeah, cool, awesome. Love the scene, love the... Love the engagement and uh, also just seeing like, you know, androids having feelings for each other. There's a more human, uh, there's more humanizing androids. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. I appreciate the love on the series. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.